Then Frenny's back. Exalt Intelligence, 7 Exalt Saw Rifles, Snap Rifle, LMG, and Rocket Launcher. Exalt Decryption completed. Recalculating possible Exalt Facility locations. Let me see. This community. The Exalt Base is in a country you can play in Civilization 5. Really? Game? That does not tell me much. Wait, does that mean that if it has this symbol, that means it is not there? Can't be there, I guess. So it's either in Brazil, Egypt, or the US. How many did you lose and while I was away? None so far, thank God, despite one pretty much wanting to die. Game over, France. It's either US, Egypt, or Brazil. We don't I can only imagine the brave new world will face if the aliens succeed in their efforts. <laughs> you don't lose friends. <laughs> friends wants to get out though. It's just like eh. Let me save right now, I guess, cuz I'm scared of what might happen if I do this wrong. Ah. Uh... Save friends! Why are you? It's not like you're there or anything. By attempt raid, does that mean that we're gonna try and actually... I don't know. If I attempt a raid, does that mean that it will try and see if they're there or not? Don't huh. patch that through. No. Don't let me die. You're gonna track alien activity, <laughs> not investigate haunted houses. If France gives me a way to help them out, sure. Still nine days left on this research. God damn it. We were so close. Do it for the lows? I mean, alright. I'll see what happens if I do. It's either Egypt, Brazil, or the US. Egypt! Warning, raiding a country that is not harboring an exile base will cause the country to leave the- Oh, God! Oh, God! No! Yarachiku, I can't help them right now! All right, the scope upgrade can be gotten now, so let's go ahead and work on that. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Actually, can't I do an intel scan? Yeah, it's true. I can help on my friends in two days with satellites. That is true. Intel scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. In Australia? Really? I guess I could do that. Brenny, you're going out again. Covert operative deployed to disrupt Exalt cell in Australia. So, not a base, but if we do that, we get intel, which will help speed that up quickly. Satellite uplink in two days, and then I could actually do this real quick. Satellite uplink complete. New construction, to this room. Launch our satellites. France, chill the fuck out, please. Thank you, friends. It is not that bad, I promise you. And we can now get air and space on this if we launch it there, so... Hmm. But Argentina and Australia both need help. So I don't think I should...
Might need to get some uh, bird coverage to all these places too. All right, Australia. I think six hundred meters per month could be all right. We don't have time this. for alien dog fights. All right, Mimic fan. Sorry that it's super laggy for you, but thanks for stopping by. I think I might give it to Russia. It's more money per month, and it's scientists specifically. All right, Russia. Three fourths of the country, then you're up. Yep. Satellite launched. Vulture, you keep saying that, and I already know. The council report's coming up soon. Which means, pretty much after that, I'm going to be trying to go into the alien assault base. So, alright. Save over this one. Incoming transmission. All right. Let's see what the council says. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. A lot of the world is, like, generally fucked, council. I don't know why you're giving me an A, I, but you're giving me a lot of money, so thank you. Thank you so much on that. MK fan, your mech did get an upgrade. You're at mech rank two. We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, we have 600 right now, but because of the upkeeps, but nice. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. All right, Africa. Let's get one in South America as well. I should get another one of the like aim and all that. I should get two more satellites just in case. Actually, I could build them a one right now, but two, what I should do. This is the priority. The needle grenade. Gas grenade and a ghost grenade. Flashbang grenade. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is something for my soldiers. Or my people in the mechs, I guess. That's in a matter of seconds. This module fits Oxcom armor designs. Only have one of those. Two scout leaders is all I need, I think. Rifles, pistols, yep. What are uplinks? It's a base upgrade that lets me put another satellite in the air and uh, monitor it. I think I'm now ready for the laboratory workshop and sh uh, workshop and sc uh, scope upgrade. Theory achieved! Yay! Laboratory online. Laboratory is going to be done very soon. Laboratory online. 
Additional workshop online. Awesome. Then scope upgrade is done as well. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. And then drone capture, Sentinel drone as well. I guess I could try to work for the. Sh I could try and get Shiv because he could sort of like act as a intermediary, sort of like, oh, it's a unit, sure, yay. No, I'm not sure if I would want that. I'm kind of attached to my units, but a fallback plan isn't too bad of an idea, I think. So I'll work toward that. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. And then... Can I... Waiting on that still. Side over France and Russia is almost there. And then the new interceptors in South America. Titan hours in three. And the core operation in three, too. Satellite coverage now available over Russia. Awesome. Among the heaviest of our body armor prototypes, the Titan armor makes use of the alien's element known as Illyrium to provide a continual powered assist to the operation operator of the suit as they move through the battlefield. With the element in short supply, we've tried to find the most efficient means to utilize it in our development programs. In this case, the Illyrium power cells is used to fuel an integrated um, uh, cooling system designed to minimize, fa minimize fatigue by regulating the operator's body temperature. This system gives the Titan armor the added benefit of increased resistance to environmental hazards, particularly fire and poison damage. We will also be able to incorporate the Titan technology in our mech design, permitting the use of, permitting us to upgrade our mech two suits in the mech three configuration. Nice. Titan armor. The Titan armor is among our heaviest uh, designs from weapons fire while providing immunity to fire and toxins. And mech three. Which gives us what? Mexima uh, electric pulse. Mex can stun organic enemies and damage robotic ones within with this area of effect electronic shock device. We can do our own EMPs. And then proximity mine la launcher. Proximity mine uh, mines can be deployed at medium range, and will wait nearby any movement before triggering their explosive charges. That could be good to cover a flank, actually. But we kind of already we kind of. Uh, do we really do that often? I think the EMP just sounds much better, the electric pulse. Stun organic enemies, so they, I'm assuming by stunning, uh, we make them skip a turn, or damaging the robotic ones, could be good. That just sounds very useful, so I would push for the EMP if I could. But it's people that vote that, not me. Then after that, The mectoid autopsy. We need to learn that. We were only able to recover the suit's central core, although the pilot's corpse also survived intact. The armor itself is quite interesting. The design is highly responsive while still providing extraordinary strength. Uh, MK fan, we did. So let's see. Um... Got to wait a little bit more on that. The covert ops almost done. But in engineering, if I go to buy Titan armor, that shit is good. <laughs> to reduce the cost of items, acquire more engineers. That's expensive, but oh my god. I'm tempted to go into the finances and the gray market and sell a bunch of shit to try and get a lot of that. Like, for example, this is just a... I don't know why you would need this, these kind of things, but... Uh... Secret corpses... Fly computers, I'll hold on to that for now. We have a lot of Illyrium. A lot of 
Bottomium alloys. That's a lot. At least we've got some vets on our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. Do I need thin men? I don't think I do, but I want to hold off on that for now. I'll sell that much right now. And from there, I would need six suits. My God. I'm missing some. 28 Lyrium and 108 alloys. God damn, that's a lot, but that's also very, very good. I technically only need five because one of them, or one currently is the uh, MK fan, who's currently our mech. Yeah, five because of mech. Man, no more achievement achieved. Woo! So let me go to the barracks and see how it would um, uh, affect our soldier. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we still gotta wait on that, but. If we were to put Titan Armor on you, you would go from nine plus eight to. With the added structural support this suit provides, I expect the troops will take full advantage of the added firepower they can carry around. They'll also be much less susceptible to environmental hazards like fire while wearing it. <laughs> 9 plus 14! That's amazing! And then you could even put that on further to just have 9 plus 16. God damn. That's amazing. I'm going to hold off on that for now, though, because I'm going to put those onto some units when we actually get in there. We're going to be in the fight, like, largely. All right, DHV. You look interesting. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. <laughs> This looks more like a, like a bomb uh, vest than anything else. Damn. You're not even maxed out, maxed out yet, I think. Actually, no, you are, so, huh. So 9 plus 12 is your max, I guess. I need one more of those, basically, and I can have a lot of people, like, squared up. I need 116 money, though. I see how much Illyrium I'm using on that, so I'm actually kind of okay with this. Five, I can cover every single person. The covert op is almost up too. So we are ready for that. And that might be the last thing we do today in the stream. Our covert operative is ready for extraction. Let's go. 
We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Medic bot's already wearing the good shit. Though I kind of want you to have a, uh, a grenade, honestly. Though we do have the imp improved scopes now, so. Uh, I'm gonna say the best, I guess. Or no, another no, scope, sorry. MK fan is still here being a badass and waiting, though I could actually switch you out for. No, we have one more left. I don't want to see what it is. And then Sato. Put that right there. The scopes. This could be good. armor on you. Scopes too and a grenade for good use. I put it on you, right? Yep. Wait, you're in the thing, right? Yeah, you are. And then Dancer. We gotcha. We're ready, let's go. All the way across the continent and the world. Strike one, prepare for landing. Scans indicate an exalt cell currently operating in Australia. We'll need to secure the area while our operative focuses on the exalt data. Our covert operative is ready for extraction. The operatives hold some uh, intel about the location of the exalt base. So safe conduct, back, all right, fairy thing. Yep, escort mission. Go, and time fall. Woo! Exalt forces disrupted one of our operatives who was in the process of hacking an enemy comm relay in search of new intel. Strike right. one will need to move in and deal with any hostiles in the area That's so our operative one. can finish recovering the data from the remaining and arrays. Oh, that man, I gotta walk through both of them. Data. We can't afford to lose it's them. a small map New too, actually. Received. This is a really small map. I affirmative. Yes, Commander. These exalt operatives appear to have undergone extensive genetic enhancement, what? suggesting exalt has access to meld as well as lab facilities oh. on par with our own. However, I would never suggest we follow such an unrestrained approach to modifying the physiology of our own soldiers. We have 100% hit and crit chance against these things. Shit. You're probably gonna die. You didn't die? Nailed him. Got that at least. I'm on the move. Go for him. Damn it. I should have actually grenade launched. Fuck now. I'm rolling. Headed there now. Eighty, sixty, eighty. That one. God damn you. Damn it. Missed the target. You gotta just sit tight and wait for right now. Here. 
Here they come. Well, there are more now. They're, They're trying, trying to, to flank us. us. They're moving to flank me. I'm being targeted. Wait, was that a? Ow! They have laser weapons now. You cannot. Target still up. You're not dead, MP fan. They're fucking with you. Hold out there for a second. A lot of things give just bad aim for a couple okay. of all around. gun him too far out there. I mean, sort of, but not well. Behind us, mainly. Can you go for that, please? Very nice. A trophy. Good day. Or er, an achievement thing. Yeah, good On day. Heading to that location. <sighs> I want to get out of here, but I don't know if I have a safe passage, so I gotta wait still. Oh, the exile string, which means I guess. Oh God! Sorry, I forgot. I'm a dumbass now too. Yes, sir. Roger that. This medic bot. Let's look at these heals. Heal 10 HP. Easy now, soldier. Roger, Dodger. Like, how far can you get? You can only get about there. That's what sucks. Aye, aye, Commander. Like, can you open the door? 
Oh, thank God. I was really scared that something was going to be there, but... For right now, you're fine. Moving. I'm on the move. Ready to rock. Heading out. Oh, yeah. Ready to fire. You're okay. Double time. I should have run and gun. Fuck! We're close to recovering another piece of the intel. Our operative just has to activate that comm relay, Commander. That sucks. Rolling. Hostile contacts now they're on coming. strike one, Commander. Bye -bye. Well, that's done. X-ray neutralized. God damn it, game. Stop taking my camera everywhere. Can you not fuck it up? Hell. Good. We've decrypted some of the exalt data, and it looks like the communications were disrupted by our hack. We should keep looking for the remaining relays. We know where it is. It was there from the beginning. I should actually run and gun. I could have gotten it all right there too. God damn it! I keep fucking that up. Double time. Don't even need to, but I will. Nothing's broken. You're fine. Affirmative. Also, I need to remember that. Where would the oh, the extraction one is right there. All right. Context closing up strike one's position. Here comes one. Commander. And high. Really? Nice Let's job. Oh boy. We've hacked all the comm relays in this area, Commander. The data is fully decrypted. We need to move the operative to the evac point for extraction. We have a new objective. Come over here and tell him hi. He's alive, first off. Moving to designated coordinates. going get all the Got way over here moving. damn it you fucked it up shot failed to connect I okay two shotguns to the face is enough to kill him good Glad I know that now. Heading out. Going over watch, even if you're on the open. En route to target. I'm on the move. Commander, 
Sir, we've got more hostiles closing on the AO. All right, one. And another one right there that said, hey, let me go into the wrong place. Nice Nailed shot. Him. DHV, you're fucking with them so much. Moving. Someone please put the MK fan out of his misery, really. Heading to that location. A troll can only go on for so long. Ah oh, shit, that didn't give us a new sight. Moving. Eye on the move. Pretty sure there was one over there too. There he is. X-ray spotted. Good to go. Roger, Dodger. More coming up, really? God damn it. Double time. Can the mech get back? He should be able to, yeah. Heading there now. Roger that. Field operative has reached the extraction point with the data, Commander. Strike one can either stay and clear out any other exalt forces in the area or head to the evac point for immediate extraction. Objectives updated. Aye, aye, Commander. Got it covered. We're all here. Well, I guess you, we can't. Extract all units. Let's get out. MK fan, when you watch this video, let it be known, I'm sorry. Assuming you actually watch it, I don't know. If all our missions go as well as this one did, the aliens don't stand a chance. We weren't fighting aliens, though. He still is waiting on his. He's waiting on two now. Exalt Intel decryption complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. Alright, it's not in Africa, not in Europe, not in Asia. Yep, it's not in Africa, not in Europe, and not in Asia. God damn it. There is only the US, Mexico, and Brazil left that it could be in. And I think that's it. I have to wait for me or I have to just take a guess. I'm receiving you. Return to base for debriefing.
DHV fucking stop it. I only need so much that I will tolerate in fucking with someone. You're not even giving them the right choices, so again, stop it. Alright, let's save over this one right here. How much do I have left in a couple of things? Make sure I'll stop these next, so... I'll go one more. Alright, sign your research. Here, I guess let's read on this then. As it appears that um, uh, as it appears that the sectoid creature within the mechanized um, uh, armor is of the same biological makeup we have seen previously, most of our efforts um, uh, were spent dissembling and anal analyzing our inner workings of the armor itself. In close collaboration with Dr. Shen's team, of course. As our soldiers quickly discovered uh, in the field, the suit is equipped with two substantially larger and more powerful plasma weapons when compared with the standard sectoid equipment. The armor itself provides a great deal of protection to the operator while also maintaining an impressive degree of mobility. The suit is capable of climbing over rough terrain and seems to have no trouble even with staircase, uh, staircases and other obstacles, as it is also maneuverable enough to operate confidently in enclosed spaces. Alright then. One of the more interesting discoveries we've made while examining this subject is that a suit of armor plastered, plastering appears uh, to interfere to some degree with the sectoid uh, pilot's unique mental capabilities. I can assume that this was an un unintended consequence of the additional armor plating. The alien sacrifice would be, uh, appear to be an extremely powerful ability as a trade-off for an increased, uh, increase in sheer combat power. However, it should be noted that the aliens seem to have offset this potential disadvantage by implanting a new technology. A small module located within the armor's core appears to serve as a sort of amplifier for those telepathic abilities. When targeted by an allied unit, rather um, uh, than linking the two, the amplified amplifier seems to take this power and use it as some form of shield around the unit. That's what we saw. Alright. Our troops should be wary um, uh, of this capability, as this suit is already quite formidable without any the additional shielding in place. Alright. Welcome back, Madison. We just completed the retort, uh, autopsy report for the mech, uh, mechtoid. So we get... When new foundry project is available, advance some uh, servo motors. After a thorough examination, we've been able to replicate the articular, articulated joints of the mechtoid, allowing for mobility improvements in both our cyber suits and shiv units. Nice. And... Shaped armor. The invaders' me uh, mechanized cyber suits are, of course, somewhat more advanced than our own. By examining the interferences between the armored shells and the cores, we could improve our overall armor design. This has the potential to increase some uh, tactical survivability for all of our mechanized forces. Fancy. Next, we'll go for the nav computer, I guess, because I'm just curious about that at this point. Check out the foundry to see what that is that we just got. The advanced motor is 300 bucks! But it will increase the, uh, the mobility for our cyber units and shiv units. Coming up on five hours, almost, yeah. Or sort of, not really, but eh. And then shaped armor. Are of course somewhat more advanced. This is just, I, is this actually more armor for people to wear or is it actually just going to be improving the base things for us? I'm not sure. We need a lot of money though, so I, I can wait on that a bit. As well as it is about time that I actually end the stream, if I were to end, actually end it on time for once. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end it here, guys. We've been having fun. Playing a lot, DHB even trolling the fuck out of MK fan. I tried to stop him, believe me, I used everything I had in my power. And we got a 
bit done. We've narrowed down what could be sort of done for the covert operatives. We are very close to what is left, and I'm not sure what to pick. Even more than that, we've got mechs now, and we actually have a decent mech. Of course, it's only one, being MK fan, but if we get enough, we could go for another one. I don't know, maybe? Huh? And we've got a lot of research done. So much done. And with that, I gotta say thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get some more done next week on Saturday with, hopefully, probably, assuming I don't forget and assuming I don't get distracted too much with other things, the actual invasion of the base, of the alien base assault. Hopefully we'll get that done soon. And next week, Wednesday, Friday, we're gonna be continuing with Valda's story. A Metroidvania platformer that I still do not know what I'm doing in, but it's a lot of fun. Next week, Saturday, though, going back to regular schedule, more XCOM enemy within as my first attempt to play in the game. So far, it's not too bad, just nothing has killed me instantly just yet. Alright, thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you had a great time. See you guys next week, and stay awesome. Hopefully, you will let me entertain you one more time another time. Oh, man, DHB, if you had gone on much more, I would have timed your ass. <laughs> and I hate that I have to actually all tab out of this. Why can't it just have an option for me to end the recording here for this version of OVS? Yeah.